Welcome to coagulation testing. In this video, we will discuss lab testing to evaluate primary and secondary hemostasis. In our overview of coagulation testing, our take home points are the following. Tests of primary hemostasis measure platelet and vascular function defects. Tests of secondary hemostasis assess the coagulation cascade. Tests of fibrinolysis assess clot lysis. We'll begin with an overview of primary hemostasis. When the intact endothelium experiences injury, its first response is vasoconstriction. At the same time, subendothelial elements are exposed, including von Willebrand factor. To begin the repair, platelets are drawn to the injury site. Without the inhibitory activity of prostacyclin and nitric oxide produced by endothelial cells, Platelets contact the endothelial surface and become activated. Activated platelets begin a cycle of secretion and aggregation until they form a platelet plug. The formation of the platelet plug ends the process of primary hemostasis. In summary, primary hemostasis refers to the initial steps in clot formation, which rely on the integrity of the vessel wall and its interactions with platelets, mediated by von Willebrand factor. We'll now discuss tests of primary hemostasis, which include the platelet count, von Willebrand panel, platelet function assay, and platelet aggregometry. Now we'll turn our attention to secondary hemostasis, the process of activa activating the coagulation cascade to form a fibrin clot. We ended primary hemostasis with a platelet plug. This plug is reinforced on the platelet surface by coagulation factors which cascade to form fibrin strands. Fibrin strands are then cross-linked by factor 13 to create a strong fibrin clot. The cross-linked fibrin clot ends the process of secondary hemostasis. Tests of secondary hemostasis include the activated partial thromboplastin time, prothrombin time, thrombin time, reptilase time, dilute Russell's viper venom time, and individual coagulation factor assays. We'll now discuss fibrinolysis. With the fibrin clot in place, the initial vascular injury is repaired and the fibrin clot is broken down to release fibrin degradation products. Therefore, fibrinolysis is the process of clot breakdown. Tests of fibrinolysis include fibrinogen, D-dimer, fibrin degradation products, and the euglobulin clot lysis time. Finally, we'll address steps to optimize sample collection. Blood for coagulation testing is collected into citrate tubes. Citrate tubes contain trisodium citrate, which chelates calcium and inhibits coagulation. To avoid testing errors, tubes should be completely filled. Immediately after phlebotomy, tubes should be inverted gently to mix in the citrate. Tubes should not be shaken so as not to cause hemolysis, which gives inaccurate results. The sample should be processed and tested within hours of collection. In summary, tests of primary hemostasis measure platelet and vascular function defects. Tests of secondary hemostasis assess the coagulation cascade. Tests of fibrinolysis assess clot lysis. This concludes our overview of coagulation testing, assessing primary and secondary hemostasis.